Alright, so we're just going to do a quick little video on hammock suspension. So I'm just going to use two types of uh, strapping or suspension that I use to hook up my hammock. And I'm going to quickly show the Eno slap straps and uh, I'll show some regular webbing using a couple knots. But basically the uh, slap strap is just a piece of webbing with a bunch of loops sewn into it. And of course one end being a little larger than the other one. And this is a pretty quick and dirty way to strap around a tree or another object if you, if you want to do a quick hang. And all you have to do basically is to bring it across your, your tree or your post or, or whatever. Simply bring it back and you have your loop here to, to string up your hammock. Something like this. Like that. So that's pretty easy. Now what if you wanted to uh, try uh, something a little bit more versatile or you just don't like the slap straps. One of the main complaints is that it has a lot of stretch for heavier users. So uh, you might want to use a different type of webbing but you don't want to do a lot of sewing or any other modification. So you can get yourself just a regular piece of uh, webbing here and I got a 10 foot strand and I'll do two knots. I'll uh, first do a water knot to, in order for me to get my first loop done, my first loop, and then I'll do a clove hitch to be able to do uh, a second loop. So, so I'll just do a quick water knot and this might take a few takes. All right, so I got uh, a piece of webbing with my water knot. So this is my first loop. Have a little bit of extra length just for a little safety reason, but this sh should not move at all. So I'll just simply string that over my object here and simply loop it around. That. And I'm good to go. So the second thing we need to do now is to get ourselves another loop so that we can clip our hammock onto this uh, webbing here. So in order to do that, I'm just going to use a simple steel ring and I'll use a clove hitch to basically make the loop and then after that I can simply clip on my hammock onto there. So here we go, trying to do a clove hitch. So to adjust you just simply need to just adjust the loop here and then just pull on the other end here. Like that. 
give or take. Then once you're done, give it a nice little tug. And that should, shouldn't be going anywhere. And then you can just, if you want, use it, you're ready to go.